So you mentioned uh, you uh, you were, I don't know if you still are, a, a, you were in 2021, uh, a global youth uh, climate network ambassador. Yeah. Okay. Now, I, I believe that only true technology, and I, I, I suppose you do too, can help resolve the global climate change crisis. Okay. Yeah. Now, however, I also don't think that uh, the, the states of the technologies of the re renewables, okay, are efficient and cost effective enough to power the development of uh, Africa's need. Okay. So we, we have to use our abundant fossil fuel reserves. What do you think? What's your what's your thought about that? Yeah, well, that's a debate. You yeah, okay. may not win with me. <laughs> I like one. this. <laughs> Let me start from where you first mentioned. Uh, a lot of people sometimes get it right the first time and they think it's easy. Okay. Not, not knowing they needed the process of yeah. time to learn. Okay. I thank God we didn't get it right the first time because yes. we would have crashed so badly. Later on. Later on. Because yeah. even it took the intervention of, of one of my mentors from UK that says, oh, you know our product that people are using? Stop production. I was like, no, why? People are making demand. I said, stop production. Get feedback from those ones first. Yeah. And because of the feedback, we've been able to improve coming up with second generation, third generation, fourth generation, fifth generation. And that process of wait, stop. Let people tell you what is working. Yeah, okay, it's very, very good. Us. Now we have what we can call something that completes with international standard. So it's always good to learn. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Even if, it's, if, it's, if you think it's going fine. And if it's going fine, mostly... That's happening. where you need to, you need to get some feedback. Yeah, <laughs> and that's where you need to get feedback. <laughs> if not, you will think you are master of it all. Yeah, so I just yeah. wanted to put that in. Okay. And when that's... it comes to Africa and the energy sector and trying to transition, it's a lot of debates. It's chicken and egg. And the truth is that one solution cannot fit it all. Yes. Yes, it involves a number of investments. It's costly. But the investments are, I mean, the, 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 the cost of prices are really crashing down. Okay. You know, we have uh, companies manufacturing solar panels now in Nigeria. Well, that's, that's interesting. Yeah. I mean, might not be so competitive, but then they're coming there. More investment to it means they are able to do more with economic of scale and all of that. Hmm. But we would say we oh, yeah, depend on so-so source of energy alone. We'll say a mix of it. Okay. Hybrid of so many. Okay. I, I agree with that. Yes. Yeah. So um, let us make a commitment to cut down fossil fuel as a source of energy. Well, Let's see, in, in Africa, we are not actually, okay, now, okay, let me, let me back up. Okay. We use a lot of fossil fuel because we in Nigeria, let's let's focus on Nigeria. Okay. I'm sure in Ibadan, yeah, in your neighborhood, yeah. I'm sure there are more than a hundred generators in the in the space of one square mile. In fact, yeah. maybe maybe a, a thousand. I understand, okay. right? That, that's, now that is a is a problem. It's okay, a big because problem. a big problem. Now. If if we had working commercial electrical plants that provide electricity to all those uh, residents, we won't have that. Every every household have one two generators. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now we have that. Mm -hmm. Okay. But like you said, because of we are yet to be 
we are yet to industrialize, okay, we need a lot of energy mm-hmm. to, to power our houses, to power our businesses, to power our factories, which we actually need. Okay, so my 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 point is that we the state of renewables, the 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 technologies and the costs are not readily available to everyone to okay. help us. Let me let me bring it down this way or break it okay. down this way. Are we focusing on sustainability? Are we focusing on affordability? Now, well, the two okay. always come into play. Yes. When we are talking about transition, it's all about cost and cost and cost and cost. But there are a lot of models that doesn't put the cost on you. Right now, I'm on inverter. Right now that I'm here. Okay. I'm on inverter. My office is on inverter. Okay. Because I could afford it, right? That's yeah. an argument. But the truth is that the arrow high in the long run, it's, it pays me better than buying fuel. Not a lot okay. of people would think about it. So one of the problems of, of Africa is being cash poor. We don't have that cash to put on ground to get things. Whereas everybody demands for cash. And that's what is happening or what is uh, a kind of advantage of being in an advanced country. You don't pay cash for everything. You pay mm. over time. But in Africa, you pay cash down. Yeah. So now, until we start having this financing model, before we take away our mind from whether it's costly or not, that's one. Two is, we know affordability drives everything. Well, it's still affordable. That's why people are using generator. By the time subsidy and all of that is removed. Removed. It becomes more expensive. Then you begin to look for alternatives. Then you see a mini grid merchant saying, mm, you can just pay me for what you use from this solar energy plant or mini grid that I've erected in your area. And they co- get you connected. And you're paying. And you're getting your power. And you're using it part time. Okay. Pay for what you use. Pay as you go. Okay. So we have so many grids, mini grids out there. Okay. That's interesting. A lot of people, yes. Uh, Ari here, rural electrification agency, I've done so well in that. A lot of people tell me, ah, how does rural community use your back? I say, see, electricity is no more a problem in rural, in rural communities. Really? Yes. In some. Okay, in some. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because of my, it takes an amount of investment to take this yeah. mini grid there. But statistics have shown us that most of these mini grids are underutilized. Mm, mm. That is why Ari here are saying the one productive use of equipment. They want us to have our bikes in all these places so that people can use their grid to charge. Okay. People have in some communities they have access, but they are underutilized. They are generating more than people are consuming. Interesting. Interesting. That's another problem to be solved. Yeah. So, um, at the point we will not be saying everybody go and buy your inverter system, go and buy your solar panel. A mini grid can supply a house. Yeah, yeah. And you pay for what you use as against what national grid should be doing. Now, when yeah. we say if national grid is available, uh, people will not be using generator, which is fine. But what is the source of that national grid? Yeah. What, is it, yeah. Not, is it mm-hmm. not generating more emission? Is it everything that is hydro? No. We have thermal, we have coal, we have this. Yeah. We have gas plants and all of that. Combination of it is what we use. Yeah. But we don't know where the source comes from. But the source is not always clean. Hydro and few others are clean. Yeah. Now, so there are a lot of arguments around this, these things, and it depends on what we are ready to do. Yes. You can supply, and you pay for what you use. You don't necessarily need the cost of implementation. And if you really want to stay stand alone like my own, you pay for it ahead of time. Mm. And there are some other systems that will say pay over time uh, or you get some sort of financing for it. So it depends on what we are looking at and how mm. we are looking at it. Mm. That's what I want to yeah. say. It's, 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 it's interesting and nice that we have mini, mini grid. Okay. Mm. Because uh, uh, ultimately we need, we need a lot of electric power. Yeah. Okay? I mean. See what, what we, what we, 
uh, envisioning is uh, an industrialized Africa, okay? Mm -hmm. And electricity is the, is, the, is the means to industrialize our, our continent. Yeah, mm. very good.